This presentation demonstrates the features of the SCW Insights Portfolio Tableau Reports. We will demonstrate the features common to all Tableau Reports, then specific features of individual reports. For the purpose of this demonstration, we assume that the user has accessed the Insights Portal landing page and that they have permission to access the Provider Performance Portfolio. Although there are three reporting types available in the Performance Digital Portfolio, this demonstration will only feature public reports. This is for information governance reasons, as public reports contain validated, publicly available data. All Tableau reports have a standardized layout and user interface. This allows the user to quickly familiarize themselves with the operation of the reports and to smoothly transition between reports without difficulty. When first opening a report, the user will see the cover page containing the report title. There is a menu bar at the top of the page, allowing the user to switch between the different pages of a report. For larger reports containing multiple pages, scrolling arrows allow access to the additional elements of the report. Alternatively, a drop down menu on the top left of the page enables instant access to any page of the report. The menu bar is available on every page of the Tableau report. The notes page contains technical information about the report, including the latest reporting period data contained in the report, the date and time that the report data was last refreshed. Tableau report data sets are typically refreshed overnight. The data source used for generating the report, the data status, in this case public, the report release type, software version, and release date. This technical information is also repeated across the bottom of every report page throughout each Tableau report. The definitions box below the technical information contains a glossary of terms that are used within the report, along with their official definitions from the NHS Statistical Work Areas website. The final box contains details on information governance and data sharing agreements pertaining to this report. The majority of Tableau reports contain an overview page. The overview contains a national summary of the latest available data for all activities in the scope of the report. This report details diagnostic waiting times and activity. Tableau pages and charts are interactive and configurable by the user. For example, hovering over any chart element will generate a text box highlighting the measure and value. The data can be filtered in a number of ways with the filtering options shown in the filter bar positioned under the report title. The data tables and charts will immediately adjust to reflect the selected options. By default, the latest reporting period is selected along with all national data Previous reporting periods can be selected from the drop-down list and the data will update accordingly. Multiple filters can be applied simultaneously to provide more specific overview data. The data in this tab can be further filtered by STP area, by CCG, by provider, or by diagnostic test. The data and charts will update automatically to reflect the selected filter items. Note that when selecting one or more STP areas, the CCG filter dropdown automatically updates to offer only the CCGs contained within the STP area. Finally, the data can be filtered by one or more diagnostic tests. At this stage, the user now has a breakdown week by week of waiting periods for a single activity If you have any further questions, or you would like to provide feedback on this presentation, please contact the Digital Intelligence team using the address below. Links to the Insights Portal Access Request Form and the Insights Portal landing page are shown at the bottom of the screen.